You're watching another Nerd Stalker interview. Startup Blog Insights, the top 10. And number one. Number one, another number of uh, title blog that was always popular on your channel, which is called Six Environmental Factors That May Affect Your Business. That, that's from 2012. Yep. It, it, you know, it's, it's interesting. Uh, the, the picture that was in there was uh, a silver sword, and silver sword only grows on top of Haleakala, to my understanding, which is a mount, which is an old extinct volcano in Maui. Uh, and, uh, okay. you know, and uh, it's the only place in the world, I think, that it grows. Uh, you know, and, and the goats keep eating them. They keep trying to figure out how to keep them out of there. But it's a, uh, uh, you know, but I saw that and, and I realized, you know, okay, that really applies to businesses. You know, if you, there's a, there's a, uh, a Italian restaurant on Knob Hill that every time I go out there, I go eat. And it's been there since, since before 1999 because I've been to that place dozens of times over the years. And their location, where they are and what they have there is for example their environment where they where they're positioned has a large uh, number of people that frequent that place you can't even get a seat at night and they won't take reservations uh, so you know or you can make 30 40 minutes outside but the yeah, food is yeah, good yeah, yeah. so they, you know so they are in a great location um, they have a good offering uh, and they have a lot of, of word of mouth uh, that comes up. So just their location is extremely important. Um, you know, if you are if you are in a tech park and you want to create a tech company, your ability to hire people is greater than if you're located at South Beach and you're trying to build <laughs> you're trying to build a tech park. Everybody you want to hire has got to be moved. Which means that you have to pay moving expenses, and you got all this other kind of issue trying to get them down there. So where you are, and those things that are around you, can have a big impact on your business. If you require a lot of shipping, and you're located four-hour drive from the nearest place to be able to get stuff shipped, <laughs> is a problem. You know, if you're located closer to an airport or a train station or some other kind of thing where you can ship things, so so environment can play a very important part in your business. Yeah, absolutely. I, I I remember this one. I, we did this a few years ago, and yeah. um, you know, it it, it whole talks about really what you were talking about is kind of like, I remember the the analogy or the story you were talking about about if you want to relocate the business, it may be cheaper, but if you can't find any people to work there, it doesn't really matter anymore. You know? so. What what do you do if you're in an area which um, all of a sudden, and this actually happened? Uh, let's suppose that you had a really great business. And your business is located in town, and the town decided to take over the property so they condemn it, uh, you know, and they want to build something, some big town hall building, and they decided to move you, and they move you to uh, a location where you know, they used to have a lot of walk-in traffic, but now all of a sudden they moved into a different location with a lot of walk-in traffic, but these people didn't care, and and so they moved them, you know, just that act of moving them from one location to another killed a mom and pop shop that people frequented for 50 years. <laughs> it was famous. And all of a sudden it's gone. So, so you know, uh, those kind of things happen and, uh, you know, just changes in your environment, uh, you know, changes in government regulations, uh, changes in all kinds of stuff can have a magic, uh, can have a dramatic impact on your business. Yeah. Well, absolutely. Well, but anyway, uh, it's before Christmas here, and thank you for the 2014, my friend. You get, yeah. you've, you've, you've imparted a lot of wisdom on a lot of people I see out of this top 10 blog. I think well over 100,000 easily. So well, yeah, uh, it's, a, it's It's been, I've written about 300 and some odd articles, and I've got some that are coming out now in different venues, uh, you know, that that are that are coming out. So I've got, uh, you know, in quite a number of places, and and actually up on uh, on the startup blog I put out I think several article links that went showed up in places other than the examiner and startup blog mm -hmm. so there's other articles that I've written and uh, you know it's it's hard to know what kind of impact that these things have made on anyone but I, I hope I hope it helps somebody someplace <laughs> no